you guys, I just found out a very cool alternative uh, milk variation to a normal milk. And I wanted to share it with you directly because I, I really like milk in my cappuccino because it has the best taste and a very great foam. But uh, milk is quite heavy, so sometimes I need something more lighter. So I tried to figure out some new plant-based milks which will do a great foam and will also be healthy and have no added sugar in it. So I found a great recipe in the internet and the, the recipe said that you use like a ready coconut milk, like a specific brand, which I will link down below. And then you can add um, half half with homemade almond milk or I also tried with homemade walnut milk. And today I will show you the recipe or the easy doing with homemade walnut milk. I really like that as well. And yeah, let's do it. So first we make either the almond nut, walnut or hazelnut milk together and you just need a handful of nuts and then make the nuts open and put them in a glass of water just that the nuts are covered by water and then let it sit overnight in the fridge. Then take the soft nuts out of the water and blend it together with 150 milliliters of water in a blender and then you will get the milk. Then let the milk through a sieve and catch the milk, um, the real nut milk and then you will have this here it will look like that. And on the other side you of course have the the nut grounded or the small nut stuff which I use for the next day for my breakfast or for whatever I want to eat it and yeah with this nut milk I always use half of it for the coffee and the other half for the next day for the next coffee yeah now we have this milk and on the other side for our coffee we do it half half so half with nut milk and half with the coconut milk and online they said that this milk is very good and it um, only consists out of coconut milk and water and an emulgator which is not like the optimum but it's really good and it tastes good, has a good texture and there is nothing specifically bad at it. So we now I have the foamer here and then I put like half of the nut milk inside. I already drank the other half, so that's the rest. And then you see there inside is something where you can see how much you need and then just the other half will become the coconut milk. Then I put the coconut milk back into my fridge. So I always have this coconut milk at home. And then I put it on. So now it's ready, ready to see what was going on in there. Now we will, nice, see like a good texture, I'm really a texture person and love good textures. Yeah, now I already did my espresso, so I already did it here. Some espresso in, and then I add a little bunch of So, there you have a nice cappuccino. A good foam of course it's not as thick as the milk foam but I love the taste so as you can see um, or saw in the video we have a good foam here and it really tastes good because you see yeah it really tastes good because when I go out and want to drink like another milk like for example Almond milk, I only like the taste when there is sweet, something sweet inside, but that's not like something which I think is better than drinking milk. 
and the normal almond milk taste I don't really like it that much and I like oat milk as well but when you do it yourself it doesn't make the foam they just add a lot, um, some fat inside because you can for example you can buy a barista edition and they add fat into the um, oat milk so that it can become like a good foam so I was really happy finding this recipe and yeah to share it with you directly because I think it's a good alternative like half nut milk and half coconut milk and yeah I'm happy with that and I hope you got the inspiration as well and I wish you a good day with this coffee and I will enjoy mine now <laughs> Very good. So, thanks for watching this short coffee break video. I hope you liked it. Comment down below what other kind of videos you want to see. Subscribe to my channel to get a new video for next week. And yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.